Hello, I'm back. It's 11.06 a.m. I developed the strength and courage to go get laundry done and take out the trash. I guess staying in a motel this long, it's like as if you're in your own place, but you don't have to pay utilities or nothing. <clears throat> so, but I'm still, I still, you know, wondering what can be a way for me to get my own permanent place my own permanent place to live so um with my as i said with my disability it's difficult for me to live with other people because you know they may not understand and so they'll think i'm treat me like a weirdo from mars or somewhere out of space or somewhere, you know. <clears throat> and, you, you know, if people would think that my OCD and Tourette's makes me a troublemaker when I'm not trying to be. And also um, possible Asperger's syndrome, because I don't have a full diagnosis, but a lot of people suspect it. You know, they wonder what the hell is wrong with me for being just hypersensitive to everything. But some people say that us being targeted individuals, that the frequencies make us extra hypersensitive to everything. But I've been feeling, oh, oh yeah, you know what? I think, come to think of it, after the incident happened when I was 14 years old, um, it wasn't until a couple of years later that my, um, my ears started to be very sensitive. So, <clears throat> so, so, I mean, people wonder what the hell is wrong with me that if I feel like hyper vigilant and can't tolerate noise or can't tolerate people getting close to me or touching me or anything like that, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. And and so um well last night I went to bed after eleven thirty and I think I remember um twisting and turning and being awake for a long time and couldn't sleep until I don't know what time. <clears throat> but I think I woke up about um, 8.45 this morning. And of course, I had to deal with lots of door slamming and lots of um, paramedics and ambulance between last night and this morning. But... I feel mildly sleep deprived, but not heavily sleep deprived. So, you know, yesterday I brushed my teeth with the um, bentonite clay. And of course, when I, um, after I woke up this morning, a lot of the um, swelling and infection went down, but I still like as if some infection try to come back, you know. <clears throat> Yesterday I took the bentonite clay internally. I ran out of the powder, but I still have some of the food, the ingestible liquid. <clears throat> so I need to, I can't use the ingestible liquid in the bathtub because I feel like I need to hold on and stretch it as much as I could and use that as my toothpaste to brush my teeth. And, um, you know, with me being depressed and stressing and stuff, <clears throat> I haven't gone to the snack machine in a while, but um, I think the snack machine food, even if it's just one snack every three days, I, I guess it eventually had like and um <clears throat> excuse me and you know an impact or, or or you know made me feel made my made me you know made try to make all the infection or whatever try to come back so i have to 
battle to fight it, fight it off again because the tooth is still cracked and I can feel when an infection is trying to grow back or come back, the tooth gets more sensitive and more likely to be prone to be knocked out or fall off or feel more uncomfortable. <clears throat> but if there's no infection present, then I can chew tough meat and crunchy food like normal. But I don't have, you know, the money or a way to, you know, for a dental appointment. And I wish that the tooth can be fixed or repaired. <clears throat> and, and I don't want the tooth to have to be, um, you know... I, excuse me, I don't want the tooth to have to be extracted, you know, you know, but I mistakenly thought the abscess was gone for good at, for a long time being in here, but, um, but yesterday, whatever this bump in this, wait, hold up, the top part and the inside right here, there's a um painful um I, I i'll say it seems like as if it's trying to be a boil it doesn't hurt as much today as it did yesterday but yesterday it was excruciating but if i would have had the powder clay and and took my usual detox bath that probably could have, um, you know, caused the um, thing to um, come to a head. And, like, towards the end of the 45 minutes, I could have, um, you know, just press on it. And, and whatever infection, pus, or whatever would come out. But I probably can still do it um, with... I mean, I probably can just continue taking the clay internally, the you know, the ingestible clay internally, and maybe within a couple or a few days, you, you know, this can go down and so is this. But I'm, if I noticed this morning that my finger right here, it feels like as if this wart is trying to come back. And this I need to get rid of. And there's another one trying to form right here on my on the palm of my hand right there. So um, I can't get to eat as nutritious because it's like I'm struggling to survive, you know, struggling to even have food. And... Like, like it's, it's like I know that um, the other day when I ordered, you know, the little food on DoorDash <clears throat> through, um, you know, I, <clears throat> excuse me, the groceries, it's, it's like, as I said, it's like my, my health, I can't be eating food from um, Dollar General and stuff like that. I'd be guaranteed to be sick. But, um, so I try to get whatever healthy food I could or close to healthy from when Dixie and it's like, excuse me, um, seven or eight items is, um, wow, $50. And, <clears throat> but it's like if I would have got all the junk and stuff, I probably could have had probably almost enough for three weeks. But me trying to strive to eat healthier, you know, but I'm, I mean, it's, so I mean, it's like I couldn't get to buy or eat as healthy as I could. I mean, is I would have wanted to. Because all I have is um, the microwave and mini fridge. But the um, it's like microwavable foods 
seems like as if it's almost expensive as eating at, eating at a restaurant or something. So, um, like those microwavable meals or this or that or whatever. <clears throat> but, as I said, I, I really don't trust, you know, a door dasher picking out my fruits and vegetables and stuff. I would rather do it myself unless it's already packaged or bagged in which that will cost more than you picking it yourself. So, um, I'm plan. I mean, I felt discouraged and knocked down yesterday, but I'm planning to, um, I'm planning to bounce back up again and, um, you know, I wonder, should I have to be forced to stand up and write? Because I can't even lay down and relax in comfort and luxury. Lay down and write. <clears throat> or sit up and write. I mean, I'm just on my dog on phone. So, if I even write a, a, a short article that could, that would, I mean, a short blog post that would take you 45 seconds to read. <clears throat> then you, you know the perps will give me a problem with that too you hear that sounds more loud bass music but the air is on so y'all it probably won't pick up so this bump in my ear it has it especially when I put my earbuds in it makes my mouth and my teeth feel uncomfortable trying to talk <clears throat> like as if I, if I feel uncomfortable trying to talk you know but I guess I'll take a just an Epsom salt bath with the regular um, pink Himalayan salt and Epsom salt and stuff and um, like take a hot bath and put some baking soda in it and um, I'm trying to figure out what am I, what else am I missing? <clears throat> I know I had, I used up the last of the powder clay, the external powder clay. I used that up, and um, I mean I used up the last of that, and then something else I don't remember what I used the last of, but I can put some baking soda, apple cider vinegar. Let's see, baking soda, apple cider vinegar, pink Himalayan salt, and Epsom salt. I'm not going to use the oil today, but I can put all that in my bath water and um, try to take a 45-minute soak and see if this... Um, bump in my ear will go away so um that's after my clothes get done washing and drying but yeah I said I, I would like to do more writing today and um and so I'm not gonna go out today But, um, so, it, it's like, yeah, I have, yeah, it's like my, this bump in my ear plus this, you know, it's got my whole, my mouth area and my face feeling weird and uncomfortable. But this past Thursday, I felt afraid like I was going to die. Um, it seems like as if the infection came back, I mean, subtly and strongly with vengeance. And I, you know, being depressed and stuff, I slacked off. And it's like, before I leave... You know, I, 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 I'm going to try to battle to get rid of the, 
the warts and you know and do certain more personal hygiene to myself and um so I have to um you know try to see about getting more help to stay here another week and I have this idea in mind but I'll wait until after it's approved if it's approved or not and then come back and tell y'all but um on indeed.com now they keep sending me offers for these jobs and saying that oh you would be you could be a good fit for this position or whatever and I go and apply and then hear nothing back or get get either ignored or rejected after um, they send me lots of um, you know job opportunities saying you could be a good fit for for this job or that job or whatever and I just keep on getting either rejected or ignored but most most employers ignore me but very few respond back and and you know one thing that's strange is applications way from 2017 that I applied for when I was still living in New Orleans they wait until 2022 and they finally look at and then reject my doggone application <laughs> and send me a doggone uh, oh sorry you were not selected we we've, we've decided to move in, in, in um on in the, into the next step of the hiring process sorry your application was not selected or something like that I don't remember remember how, how it goes but <clears throat> so um I'm they got some noise and commotion outside. One thing I hate is when it's that time to have to take out the trash or have to um do laundry. I hate I mean I hate when I have when it's that time but then everything feels so much better you know after the laundry is done and stuff like that then I can feel more comfortable and wear the clothes that I feel comfortable wearing like this dress i like that it's modest but i try to um tuck it under because i don't want the dress to be bumping into um objects that i feel like is dirty so So it's like um, they have a few job offers that seem like as if they're two hours away. And so it's like, well, what if I, I don't know if they would hire me or not. If they're two hours away, I don't know if they would hire me or not. But then where would I go stay or live at or where would I sleep if it's $17 an hour? And I might feel that, I mean, and then it's hard to get a job when you don't have a stable place to live. So, um, I have to keep in mind that, um, these people, they work for the devil and try to play God and think they have the authority to punish you. And then you suffer, and um, everybody will say you're at fault. And people who think they know it all, but they don't have any of the answers, but they just want to pretend to sound fake smart or pretend to sound fake intelligent. And, you, you know, so... um. It seems like the only way thing I know best is 
you know, to just keep writing, even though nobody cares, but, I, I, I mean, I know that the entire nine, I don't, nine billion or whatever people on this earth, they got to be somebody to be supportive of what, I, you know, even if it's one piece of writing that I have, dang, I wasn't quick, my reflexes weren't quick enough to catch that gnat. They have these reddish brown gnats, um, and they come from outside. But I noticed that a lot of satanic gang stalkers, they worship gaming, like NFT games and Twitch and Discord. And I don't want to go on that website, Discord, because that looked like a demon, like, like a demonic face, that logo or whatever, and Twitch and gamers, you know. And Fortnite and all that is all satanic. But that John Schnub or whatever perp on Twitter, it seems like as if he was trying to recruit targets to flip and become a perp. And um, and he was her, <clears throat> excuse me, harassing targeted individuals on Twitter. But Chief Handler on YouTube, I saw he got another account. And um, as I said, you know, I block him. When I see him on other people's channel with his new account, I block him before he can get, before he can make his rounds and get to me. Because I remember what he did to me in 2019. He was the one who bragged, he also bragged, bragged about falsely reporting my videos and um, like, cause I responded back to Chief Handler, like told him off or whatever, and he falsely reported my videos, and got caused me to get strikes on my channel. So now, you know, I if I see him harassing another target or whatever or anybody, I um, hurry up and block his account before he can get around to me. So I don't know if he successfully um turned I mean if he successfully got other TI channels strike down also I don't know but it's um so I mean after today you know I'll be back to having like I guess I only have three dollars and 11 cents in the bank and I have um I have three dollars and 11 and 11 cents in the bank and I have um let's see three and then I have um well I'm doing laundry now so then afterwards I will have probably just seven or in between seven and at the most ten dollars in cash and coins and then be just like super broke and hoping that I can get enough donations and help by this coming Friday so I won't have to um, be back on the streets and then next Tuesday I'm supposed to get paid from my social security and um I'm supposed to get paid and um so you know I, w I would hate to have to get back on the streets and then you know even if it's for a few days so I'm just I'm trying to get help you know, to stay here consistently. Um, and then next week, you know, I could be on, hopefully I could be on my own with not having to ask or not having to worry next week. But, um, I don't know. But, 
it's, as I said, it's, it's hard to even get, um, it, it's hard to even get, you know, help with $20 for something to eat on the streets. So it'll be, as, as I said, impossible to get help with $365. And as I said, you know, they'll try to make it like as if you're some potential criminal and going to use their donated money to commit some crime or something or use drugs with it. And I even asked them, I said, do, do I look like I use drugs? So, um, you know, but it's like the perps, they will not let me write. And they won't let me flourish. They won't let me make a living off of writing. And if I try to write, they attack my body so bad, like as if spanking a child that's not supposed to do that. <clears throat> so, um, please, um, if anybody can help me stay off the streets, pretty please. If, you know, if anybody can donate whatever they could. And I'm going to try to see what else I can do. Fight again for help with low 